Okay, hey, what's up, guys? I want to ask you guys a quick question. What is a very good camera to buy for, like, anywhere between $400 and $600 range? Because I'm shooting right now on a Canon Vixia HF R100. Okay. Um, as you see, the quality of my Canon Vixia HF R100 isn't bad for 1080p. And um, I really just want to know what you guys got to say. You think a DSLR would be better for uh, filmmaking? Cause I like to shoot like kind of like documentary films of like kind of like a wildlife and outside and everything. And I keep hearing a lot of people, Digital Rev, a lot of these bigger YouTubers who use Canon 60Ds, Canon T2i, T3i, and um, I really want to know what you guys got to think. Do you think I should get a higher end camcorder? Cause I love camcorders. We're back like, inside because really it started cool. to get too windy. And um, my opinion is, like I said, I always grew up on camcorders. Like, I was a, um, a big Sony Handycam type person back in the day around 2005, 2006. That's when I really started getting into uh, using cameras and stuff. And DSLRs really weren't popular until like 2009, 2010, 2011. That's when the DSLR, um, the image quality got so beastly, it um, made cameras like what I'm using now look kind of uh, crappy. So, if you can, in the comments below, I said between $400 and uh, $600 range, I'd really appreciate you uh, let me know what's a good camera to buy. If, it's, if I can get an entry-level DSLR that shoots good, or if I can get a really beastly uh, camcorder. But... Like Afro Pin Kid here on YouTube, he's a very uh, knowledgeable camera person, and he was um, con uh, talking to me over uh, Twitter and stuff, saying I shouldn't be looking at camcorders because if I'm spending six hundred dollars, you can get a DSLR that has way better quality. Because he was saying the uh, D let's say a Canon uh, T3i, he said that you'd have to spend like three thousand dollars for a beastly camcorder to get really good camera quality that the uh, DSLR can um, get at like 600 bucks. So, um, like I said, I'm going to show you some uh, uh, pictures of some cameras. And Hey guys, here's some of the pictures of the cameras I've been looking at. This is a Canon XA10 and um, it's a full 1080p camera. To me, it's a professional uh, type camera and now you see with the uh, Rode video mic on top and um, like I said, I've been looking at that. I've been looking at the uh, Canon uh, T3i, Canon uh, T2i, because uh, everybody says camcorders and D or DSLRs are better than camcorders. And um, honestly, here's a camera from Sony that actually has changeable lenses. I've heard it's a very good camera for um, shooting like documentary film work, and you still get that manual focus that you do on a Canon uh, DSLR. And Here's the Panasonic um, GF3, which I thought was a great camera. And some people are like, it's not really that great. You should just upgrade to a DSLR. But when I tell you guys, I only have a four to five, four to six hundred dollar budget, and that's what I want to spend. And if I can get as close to a DSLR quality as possible, then cool. But like I said, I love long shooting, and that's what you get with camcorders. You can shoot for a long period of time. And I've always heard that DSLRs have a problem with shooting, let's say, like a 20-minute uh, concert setting. Because my main objective is to shoot bands and to shoot um, concert footage. And I want to try to get the best quality that I can. I'm Right now, I'm using the, can the uh, Canon Vixia HFR100, but I need to step my game up. And I would love to uh, hear what you guys got to say. Hey, what's up, guys? Now I'm showing you some footage of the Canon Vixia HFR100, like a zoom test. Now I'm going to do a zoom test.
and let me know really what camera I should get for the four the six hundred dollar range. So uh, hopefully you guys can help me out. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, hate, comment, and subscribe.